Jamers here, got a short video for you today. I wanted to cover all of the placeables in the game. Now we did our last video covering the shop tour, showing you everything in the game. Today's gonna be about those placeables and a pretty big new feature here in Farming Sim 19. Now before we get started, I wanna remind you to hit the subscribe button, make sure to check on those notifications so you know when we go ahead and put another video here on YouTube. And make sure to also check out our Twitch channel because we are live streaming this game every day over on Twitch and all week long. So make sure to check us out over there, come and ask questions and see this stuff live. So you want to build a farm, do you? Well, that's exactly what we all want to do in here. And you're going to start out in Farming Simulator 19 with a couple of different modes. I've gone ahead today and chosen the mode where we start from scratch. We basically have nothing except, well, the train. You can get into the train and you start out with $500,000. Now I've went ahead and hacked some money in today so that we can show these placeables. So first off, you're gonna wanna hit the escape key, jump up in here, and this is where you see the beautiful image of the map. And something different about Farming Sim 19, you've got to buy the land. So make sure you click on lands over here and you'll get kind of a grayed out version where you can actually click on the different plots of land and pretty much everything in the map can be purchased even some that maybe don't make a lot of sense uh, there's grass and some trees and stuff so you might want to you know go and cut trees and grass but i'm not too sure if you'd want to spend a bunch of money out of the gate on beachfront property maybe we'll find a reason later on today we're going to go ahead and buy these fields up we've got one right there and we're going to buy this one up and we're also gonna buy this one up. The reason I've chosen these fields are they're some of the flattest places on the map. I don't think you're gonna wanna go ahead and destroy these fields to put down all of your placeables when you get going. But one thing I'll tell you that I've been finding big time in my early look is it is very difficult to get the placeables to get put in and have them look decent and work well. So that's just something you're gonna have to work with. Now I've heard Giants has got some patches coming with this and they're gonna be adding some features for us to make roads and whatnot, but you'll see today basically what I'm talking about. So now that we have some land purchased, we're gonna jump into the store. Let's go into the right menu there. And the number one thing we'll do right away, people have been asking me a lot about this, is let's go ahead and throw down our doghouse. I know it's kind of weird just tossing our doghouse out here in a field, but you can see that everything has like a little bit of terrain that it'll put around it. Obviously, you're gonna wanna go and delete the fields and kinda do your own modifications when you go and start building your farm. But there's our little friend there. I'm not sure what his name is, maybe Fido. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to go ahead and do to start out is put in these farmhouses. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got to experience experience rather these um, farmhouses a lot. And I think that each farm, because multiplayer you can have up to four farms, I think each farm will need to have its own farmhouse. And I know the other reason uh, you'll use these is to skip the night. So I wanted to show you something here with all of the buildings, all the placeables, as long as the dog doesn't get in the way. You can obviously uh, hit, uh, oh, and this is an important thing too. You wanna make sure to have your F1 and have that menu on the top left corner. If you go into your placeables, you will not have any of the key commands telling you exactly what to click on. And if you look here, now you've got a whole menu of different things telling you how expensive it's gonna be. Uh, so the house was 300 and 370,000 or something like that and depending on where I put it how much terrain has to be changed is how much it actually costs so if you get in a really hilly area it's going to be a lot more expensive to place your house so you're going to want to hold control E or Q and you can actually go up and down uh, with with it and we'll see we can get her go down go up these will create quite a mound and if you go down too much, you will actually dig a hole and have a ramp going down into your house. I can't honestly say I'm a big fan of that uh, because it makes it really weird when you're driving around. But uh, just for the sake of this discussion, we're gonna actually going to lower this. Well, we're going to set it to where I feel it's about level. And you'll never quite know. That dog is trolling me so bad. That's okay. I think we'll have plenty of room. So there we go. And not too bad. Not too bad. You can clearly see that you end up with this kind of a square thing going on. Turn my camera here. Kind of a square thing going on on all the properties. They all have like a little notch there and it's a little bizarre. I mean, as far as my immersion goes, um, even the one spot on the map where we have uh, gravel, uh, dirt, I don't know what you want to call it. It's, it's kind of gravel to me. 
I'll save the content there. Over in this area here, you're going to get the same thing. I did this on a Twitch live stream, and to be honest with you, it turned into a complete train wreck with all kinds of terrain not level, the dirt didn't match up. Um, that part of the game, in my opinion, needs to have a lot of work done to it because I'm not finding a way to get these, these placeables put in very, very nicely. If you're not fussy and you don't care about things looking weird, well, you probably won't be too bothered, but I do like to have things looking a lot, a lot more normal. So, as of game release, all of the things I'm saying are, are how it goes. Lots may change later on down the line if you're watching this video a year from now. So, jumping back into uh, the placeables here, I'm losing my train of thought. We're going to go through the uh, chicken coop here and start there. Now, another thing that I found really neat is, let's say we're way over here, uh, far away placing or whatever, and it, it's got you placed over here and you want to go to where you are on the map, hit spacebar. It always zips you back to, to where, uh, where you are. So that's kind of a nice thing. It centers it on you. You can hit C to snap grid. See if I can get my snap grid to work. There we go. I actually got a hold C. And it kind of puts it in like more of a snap grid. So I'm going to put basically the regular size and then the normal size down. And I can't emphasize enough. When you start placing these things in an area that is less flat than this, and this is probably the most flat area, the, the, the whole leveling gets very messed up as of right now. Um, and then we've got like chicken coop big. I'm going to just sneak this one over here. And the main purpose though is I want to show you how these things are placed. And I also want to show you what they all look like. There's the large, so you can see the difference. Uh, numbers are all listed, you know, between 100, 400 chickens. Uh, you've also got the cow pasture. Now, let's say I wanted to do something very realistic here. All right, we got this beautiful road. I'm going to buy this field, and I want to put my cow pasture in there. And I want to have that looking like a million bucks. Uh, we got to turn my snap grid off here. What's going on? Okay, for some reason, I'm not able to get my grid snapping to give me any flexibility with these cow barns. So, and this field is kind of a triangular or a diagonal rather field on the map. So I'm going to place these the best that I can. And again, this area being flat is actually pretty forgiving. But if you wanted to simulate having an entire farm, you know, close by, everything close, uh, you're going to have problems with, you know, getting, not having like ditches in between things. So we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to drop this one right over here. Kind of want to get that one out over there. There's a large one. Of course, I could have put it a little bit closer and maybe maybe overlapped them a little bit there. But again, there's no roads connecting anything here. So hopefully the horse, yeah, the horse is letting me do much more of a fine. So let's say I wanted to have my horses looking really, really good here. Got them right off of a road. This is the little driveway that you get. And I wanted to put that, you know, right on the road. Just make it look real nice put that down and boom, it ends up putting all this grass. I mean, right there it was pretty level and it kind of dug it in and dropped it in right there and obviously we lost the road. And there's no way to roll that out uh, either per se. Now you can plow this, you could get the plow and you could tear this up with the plow and then roll it out and you get your road texture back to, a, to some extent. Uh, so there is ways of kind of working with it, but it's a little bit, um, cumbersome to kind of work with right now and honestly all the times that I've placed stuff this this is really going the very best so far for me say I want to put another uh, horse paddock right next to that one you know that's not that's not too bad they're kind of all on the same level it's hard to see but there is there is some ditches there you can see big ridges and things like that moral of the story I would not suggest placing anything right on your road uh, even close to it, it honestly won't matter right now. So we got the pig enclosures. And these are doing me like the cow. They're not letting me choose how I want to put them down. But again, leaving everything the same level, and it's looking like it's pretty level for the field. And it's going to dig on the one side, but going to have it like where it's near the cows. And you can see still got some some ditches there. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to click on the large ones. Drop them in. And we'll run around on foot here in a minute and look at all that. I know I kind of got out on the road, but there you go and see that 
that weird squared grass texture that kind of ends up in there. And you might think, well, you got to get it lower and then it won't do that. You know, for sake of argument, it, it'll still do that. Uh, we'll, we'll purposely go ahead and sink. We'll sink this one down in and you still get the grass textures like that. And now it's in a hole. Now we have a ramp going down in there. So going up to the large sea, uh, sheep pastures rather, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise up, hit my shift can, or control Q rather, ju just go up a little bit. R, there we go. I think that's probably pretty close, right? I mean, I want it to be kind of with the cows there. Let's bring that in a little bit. Place that in there. Not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. Not perfect, but again, I've got no roads. My, you know, our entire farms have have no roads. And I've asked people in our Twitch chat during the live streams if they know of any way, or if anybody finds out a way, uh, right after release anyway, let me know because I'd love to know if I was doing something wrong there. I, you know, I, I really want roads. I'm really picky about that stuff. Pressure washer. There's really no point in probably putting one of these in, but it is part of the deal. So throw down a pressure washer and also uh yeah well i wanted to point out that you can put the doghouse right there where i put the pressure washer because i've done it and it's kind of nice to have that you know real close we'll put that little building there uh it's your little maintenance building i haven't actually placed one of these uh well heck why not so we'll just go ahead and drop that in there and you get a weird little squared pavement kind of design there. I'm not sure why they don't just square that thing off instead of giving it like the cross. Um, and then this thing here, I mean, it looks like it's pretty level. It's the water where you can get unlimited water. You end up getting a square out of that as well. So that's how that's going to look. And if we go over to our silos, these can be a little tricky too and a little bothersome because let's just say I want to have the pipe, I mean, you're going to be driving to these. These are these are things that you drive to. But, you know, you're driving to these, so you want that to be kind of close to a road. And you do that, and you end up getting that. Which isn't too bad. Honestly, that's pretty flat. And this is probably the flattest part of the map. Uh, the big one, let's say we wanted to put the dumping pit right on the road. Which is incredibly difficult to do. You end up getting that. And what I've commonly been seeing is these big dips like that was flat and you get this big dip going down and then a dip going up and then a dip down and that's actually pretty flat coming up uh, most places in the map are not going to be that forgiving and then on the other side you end up again remember this is a pretty flat area here and now we have kind of this thing going on if we can zip around we kind of have this thing going on here and who's going to want to you know take their tractor and then try to empty stuff out here. I could have flipped that around. Guess what? You're going to have the same problem. And if you look at this, the way this is, you know, you, you if you were to raise that all up so you wouldn't have that dip, then you're going to end up having a big mountain here to hit, go up and then up again. And then it, some of these, some of these trailers like the Wilson, they have low bottoms on them and they will bottom out. So obviously you don't want to deal with that. Now these things are pretty neat. These are the extension silos and you can pretty much pop them in wherever you want. They're not, they don't, they don't do too much to the terrain. I think they're going to give you, we'll place one a little farther away, just a little square pavement around there. They have to be within a certain range. Otherwise they get to be too far away and then they don't work, which is understandable. So you could line these up and they give you a hundred thousand. So you have 200,000 in the big one, hundred thousand in this one. And you do have uh, 100,000 in the extensions. And the extensions, they also work for for the small ones. So you could have this little setup somewhere in your in your map. Uh, you could start out with that one and then add some of these later on. You don't have to just use that. Another thing I'd like to point out too is if you dump something in this small one and you have this on the opposite side of the map, they are not connected. I did test that and you do have to dump if you dump 100,000 grain in here, you're not going to be able to go to the other side of the map and pull 100,000 out here. So they are separate as far as that, which is understandable. That's realistic. And that's really how it, in my opinion, should be. Uh, the, you've got the straw bar in here, which I want to raise this thing up. Okay, for some reason, 
And I'm just, I'm left control. E, there we go. We got up. Oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to raise this straw barn as the last thing we want to look at here. I'm just going to go ahead and try to throw this guy down probably right in here and we'll drop down just a touch there and that looks like it's going to be level because of the way the markers showed up let's just drop that in there that didn't do too bad you get a little bit of dirt see i like that though it's squared and it, and it blends in like that that's better than all these whatever you want to call these 90 degree right angles on the other placeables uh these things here are really nice you've got all your um your biogas so all your silos rather and they can be snapped together uh, I think a few different ways so let's say you started out with one later on you wanted to add another one for the most part and I'm not able to do it now of course because I'm doing a video for the most part I've been able to easily snap them together I've not had any problems and now it's not letting me it's telling me it collides with another object I was able to build a whole bunch of these right next to each other. I mean, it was beautiful the way that they all worked out. And today it's just not being good to me. And it was the first version of the game when I was able to snap them, so maybe they changed something. But if you guys fool with this, you may be able to get them to be exactly next to each other and build a nice uh, pit. Uh, so you've got the small ones there. There's actually a couple of them. You've got the medium one here, and I'm going to attempt to see if that one... No, it won't let me. All right, then you've got the large one right here. And we'll just drop that one down right there. And we'll try again. Now, see, it's kind of letting me, but not really. All right, so that one won't let me do that. And then if you go over here, you'll find all your doubles. So you've got your double small, which is going to cost you more money. But it actually uh, looks like I'm not sure how much it holds it. Kind of, to me, go back to our silos here, kind of, to me, looks like these are double wide, but they're not going to hold more because these are, these are twice the length. So, again, I haven't had a chance to test this. This is going to be a little bit farther down the road, but I want to see if I can get these two things to come together. No. So the other day during the Twitch stream, I, like I said, I was connecting these. It was beautiful. I was making nice, you know, big pits, but today... Not letting me, so maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, you can certainly try it. Maybe you'll have some luck. But there's kind of like the gist of how this stuff works. And again, there's no way to get, like, I can go and take the roller and get rid of the field here so that we're not driving through crops. But you're still going to have grass. And there's no way to get a gravel texture to go over there or a dirt or whatever. So they'd be really nice if the modders bring us a tool or giants of the rumor I've been hearing is they're going to give us a way to do that. And that would be fantastic, especially for council players who don't have access to giants editor. I know one of the things I'm going to do is go into giants editor and probably get rid of one of these fields and just go in there and level it and flatten it out so that we have a place to actually build. So I want to go back to where I am. Space bar. Very nice. Comes right back. And we can put ourselves a happy little sandcastle. Kind of a goofy little thing there, but uh, you can see what it is. Uh, these buildings here, they do look fantastic. I don't know, honestly, why you'd use them. Because the ground, again, it just it doesn't look 100% right. Um, and at the end of the day, you can't use them for anything. They're, they're literally just decoration. So I'm going to start doing those out in the field right here. We'll drop one down there, and we'll take the John Deere Gator and drive around all this stuff here in a little bit. Just drop this one down here, go through each one, and probably would have been faster if I just dropped them as is. This one's probably only usable one. You could put pallets under there is what I thought maybe we'd use it for. And yeah, so actually I take back a little bit what I said, other than the grass getting deleted weird around it. They're not putting like a big grassy pad or anything, too much anyway. Got this old shed here, and I'm just going to drop it as is to be a little faster. I've also got this little building here, and a couple of old sheds. And if you get yellow, wait a minute, it'll either give you a green or a red. It's trying to determine if it's a, a place you can build or not. All right, and then you've got this nice big building. Too bad we can't do much with it. You can see the terrain, it's kind of fixed itself there, not too bad. And the meth trailer, as I call it. We'll put the meth trailer over here. 
And then you've got the beautiful red barn. Really do like this one, but I've not found a way to get into it. Some of these buildings you can actually see them and they're beautiful buildings inside. Uh, I think it's this one right here. You can see the inside the windows and it is, it's, it's, it's a beautiful garage. I mean, how much I'd love to be able to open the doors on it and look at this. This is fantastic. Put your pickup, put your uh, your gator, your, your side-by-sides, tractor, old tractor, whatever. Uh, it would be fantastic. So maybe somebody will crack that or figure out how to open it, but I haven't been able to. Uh, you've also got a little apron there. You could stick uh, pallets, uh, sprayer stuff. I mean, so some of these buildings you, you could definitely use a little bit more than others, but it uh, gives you an idea of what you get there. Now, easy sheds. I've had where one time placing one of these crashed my game, but I want to emphasize that was on an early uh, early game, not even Giant's final product. And so there's bugs. There, there's no one bugs, and they, they get them worked out. So you probably won't have any problems, but uh, we'll put these down. The sheds, the other thing I've had is sometimes they don't level the ground properly. So let's say I wanted to put a shed. The ground is pretty flat here, to be honest. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a hill, but there's hills everywhere in the game. So I put that in, and that's kind of what we get. You know, not too bad, but I'm OCD, and I don't really like that grass right there. Uh, let's see if we can do any better with this big guy here. Can't be placed here. Okay, now it's telling me that it can. Let's spin around here. Let's do this right here. Uh, this one's got a huge... I'd like to get it right next to the road. I'm... Trying to place this like how you're going to end up having to place it in the game. And we're getting a no-go on all of that. Yeah, big no-go. Uh, let's see if we can do it down here. Nope. I think it's getting way too... Yeah, it's way too much of a hill. Snap back to where we were. I was hoping to keep these sheds pretty close. Let's go... Let's see, will it let us do it here? Oh, wait a minute. All right, we got the green right there, and I wanted to make it look like how you might place it right off of a nice drive like this. And we get that. And I've been getting that a lot. And the ground is very flat right here, so you can't say, oh, it's because you did this, you did that. You know, uh, but the only thing I could have done is probably raise that up in the air. And then you might not get that. And we could kind of test that right here. Yeah, I actually was all the way raised up. And it's giving me heck over here. And the ground is pretty darn flat. Well, that was lots of fun. And apparently uh, we learned something else. This is a spawn point if you have a house. Um, yeah, so we lost everything. The game crashed. And this is an experimental build. So I do want to throw that out there to let everybody know that you may not have this on day one. Uh... But early access can come with bugs, so hopefully, I hope to God this is fixed because we just lost all that progress. So I'm going to go ahead and slap all the buildings back down again, and then we'll pick up where we left off. All right, we're back. I went through a little bit more painstakingly this time and tried to place everything as level as possible, and I just kept it the same shape or in the same direction as original uh, when you when you click on the item just to keep everything kind of in line but I did my darn best to try to line everything up as level as I could and make it a close farmyard and I know there's a lot of different you know ways about it but I think you guys are going to be kind of having the same struggle that I'm having right now the sheds I don't know why they're causing the game to crash but hopefully in the final build uh, which will be a day one patch on day one release, they'll have that problem sorted. I did change around where the sheds are going to go because I wanted to leave this area, which is a little more of a flat area, open for the sheds, and I put all of our decorations over there this time. And we'll look at them on foot. I'm actually going to come back to that shed because that is the second time now I've had that thing crash me. So we're going to just line this one up over here. And it looks pretty good, honestly, looking at it all the way around. We'll put that one in, and you still, I always seem to get one corner that messes me up a little bit. And then you've got this big guy, which hopefully is good to us. If it does crash, well, at least I've saved this time. We're going to go over here, and this is really about as flat as you're going to get. And we'll put that thing down, and we'll just spin our, yeah, we'll spin the camera around here. 
Yeah, and I'm still getting it. I just, I, I can't seem to avoid that. And you could put two of these next to each other and they're still going to react the same way. There's always that one corner on this one and the, this one here. That is, uh, the terrain just doesn't seem right. So that's going to be something that, you know, we'll have to definitely get worked out. And then the last thing, of course, is the farmhouse, which you can only have one of those per farm. So if you're on multiplayer, you might be able to get four of them. But we'll run around on foot here. Pressure washer, we don't need to really look at. Everybody's been asking about the dog. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the dog here. The dog is uh, working pretty good. Was causing some crashing on uh, the first build that I had, but working great now. You can basically go up and feed your dog by hitting R. And you can also pet the dog by hitting R. There you go. Give him a little pet. Give him some more food. I've stood here for like five minutes one day just feeding him over and over and he'll just keep eating it. So it's a never ending. Uh, and the ball, if you tell him to come by clicking on him, right click. You can click and throw the ball. Oh boy, food's more important. Does not surprise me. Come on, there we go. If you tell the dog to come and then pick up the ball. Whoops, that didn't work out. It fell out of my hand. <laughs> we'll throw it. You kinda gotta get him away from his house there a little bit. Let's try this again. Dang it, I'm not trying to fling the ball. Okay, I told him to go back home. Okay, now we'll tell him to come. Except we've lost his ball. Here it is. He can't seem to want to go back home all the time. Apparently he's not a playful guy today. Click on him. Tell him to come. Okay, now... It says go home. We don't want to do that. We're going to click on that and throw his ball out there. And he's just going to sit and look at it. What a fail. Oh my god. See, it says go home. We don't want to tell him to go home. Tell him to go home. Tell him to come. Come on. I'll pick up the ball. See, it's so weird. He keeps pathing back home. So normally, or most of the time, I've had some problems with this. He'll go and chase the ball, he'll grab it in his mouth, and he'll bring it back. Let's just give it one more attempt here. Should I need to tell him to come? Yep. Does not want to play today. Well, maybe if you restart your game or something, it'll, it'll work. He's definitely following me, though. Like I said, it's it's been one of those things where it seems to sometimes work, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, moving on, we'll jump over to the water here, and you can very simply go up and uh, just fill. It's a big water trigger. I haven't really looked at it uh, per se to see how big the trigger is. I suppose we could probably do that. I think it'll show up in this video. There you go. It's a big orange box there. So anywhere remotely close is going to get the job done. So you can get water, it's like putting in a well or whatever. Sandcastle, I think we pointed that out. The wood chipper puts on the square cross of pavement. And remember, these buildings, I did, since the, the video crashed, since the uh, game crashed, I tried to take my time to really put these in as level as I could with each other. And still, you know, obviously I could roll this out and have this be... If, if I rolled this out, it would just be, uh, I guess what you you would call it, it'd just be gra it'd be like green texture. So no roads. we got some funny humps here. we we'll probably get a better view from them aerial. Uh, in fact, you know, I think I'm going to fill them with animals. Uh, and let's do that. Let's go over and jump to the animal dealer. I guess that's one other part of this you'll see is the animal dealer. Of course, you can haul the animals with the trailer and save money. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on the animals here. And you've got all the different uh, all the different animal types. If you click on, you know, the large pig, the sheep, and so on and so forth. So I will go ahead and just do that real quick. And then we'll jump back over to our house. And we'll be able to look at each pen with some animals in it. And the way this works is you just simply click on an animal. You move it. We're actually doing the small horse right now. 
which is going to max out at 8. If I try to do another one, it's going to tell me it's already the capacity. So you got all 8 horses that it can hold for the small one, one of each, and we'll go ahead and hit the space. Hey look, my dog just ran up right when I was finishing out the cows. So he actually chased me all the way over here across the map. And I didn't really test it that yet, but there you go, the dog will follow. So there you got the uh, brown cow, white cow, black cow, black and white. We've got the brown, the white, the light brown, and the gray when it comes to the Brahmin. I'm just going to do one of each for right now. We'll go ahead and hit space, confirm. Oh wow, good boy. We could yell at him to go home. But I'm going to see if he'll follow me when I jump back over to the house here, which should give me a spawn point. Uh, and I'm not sure which one. There it is. Just not seeing it there. And uh, I just... On the cows and the horses, we've got one of each type. The other animals I just did is several of each type just so we could kind of fill a few up. But here's your horses right here, uh, the different different types. And like I said, we'll cover the horses in another video. There's your black and white. And you've got just a couple of different shades of brown. My mom would be disappointed. She's a big uh, you know, horse lady, so she knows all her types. And I don't know any of them. But uh, we'll get over here and you look at the small horse pasture. The large one is this one. It's just a little bit bigger. Um, running around here, we've got the uh, pigs over here. This is a small pig. Got the different colors of pigs. I think we had these in Farm 17. Could be wrong on that, but... And then, of course, when you put straw, the straw is going to fill up in here. But I do miss the really, really muddy texture of the uh, the last farm game 17 so maybe when the pigs get dirty they get that way this is a large pig uh, area so some really nice detail there I mean the buildings look fantastic um, going over here just detour a little bit running around the silos they again have a nice texture we've got the extra uh, capacity you know silos over here so we've got the large on our right We've got the small coming up on our right right here and another couple extras that I, I threw in. So going back over uh, Straw Barn, I think we had that in 17, pop that down. Like I said, I tried to get everything as level as I could. So the, the, the humps and, and ditches and things that you're seeing, it's going to be kind of unavoidable. This is a small uh, small cow, cow pasture, can't even talk. Um, and in here you're gonna find the different cow types. I bought one of each. So, got the Brahmins and a couple of these over here. Just taking a look at each, each type. Gotta love the Holstein though. There you go. So those are the cow types, the barn. Again, straw goes kind of out in the yard. It goes in the barn here. And there's a little building, but you can't get in it. And you can't really see into it either. So this is going to be what the small one looks like. The large one is going to be right over here. It really isn't that much bigger. Just a little bit stretched in the building and a little bit bigger yard. This is your large cow pasture. And I'm forgetting the numbers, but you can go back in the video and check on that. So gives you an idea on those. Again, here I tried to be as level as I could. There, there was getting to be a field, so I had to go down just a little bit. And here's this massive, you know, drop off. And we've got the sheep. And I bought, just clicked randomly several of each, so you can see the different types. This is a small sheep right here. And then you've got the large sheep is right over here. Again, it's kind of hard to see the difference on the ground, but... You'll see it in the air, and again, earlier in the video when we placed them, you could definitely tell there was a difference there. So there's a large sheep walking around it on foot. The buildings, again, some of them are somewhat usable. You could stack pallets under this one. None of them have a way of getting inside yet. Uh, yet, I say, maybe the modders will do it, but uh, or giants. Some of them you can see inside, some of them you can't. So just different types there. This is the one that kills me because I really want to get in there. You can even see inside of it through the crack in the door. And I've tried to open it and it's just not a way. And you can look through the windows. So maybe this one will get uh, broke open if you want to, you know, say it that way. But 
just different different buildings the, the other one that I really want to is this this one right here and see you always get that square grass and then and it, it looks really bizarre no matter how you do it trust me I hope that they kind of tweak that a little bit but that is what we have for right now so there's that barn and of course the last thing here will run over as fast as we can I was gonna take the John Deere but this way we can see it on foot a little gator there um, but yeah these are the sheds and they're pretty decent size they don't have any lighting I'm assuming there's gonna be lots of sheds on mod hub so that should be pretty decent you've got this one here that's really deep you could fit a lot of equipment inside this thing plenty of room the ground is a little bit messed up here so uh, again I'm not saying it's always gonna do that but majority of the time it seems like it has been so hopefully that's worked out by release and then lastly this one which this one is always seemed to be pretty decent for me to place there comes a dog <laughs> little little Fido there uh, but there's the rundown on all the buildings and the very last thing that we have to wrap up this video is these beautiful silo pits. These things look great. The cement textures are, are nice. There's a the small, there's the medium, a lot higher, and the walls on the large. Thicker, higher, the whole nine yards. And then we'll go backwards here, but you've got the double large. And then dropping down over here, you're going to have your medium doubles. There's a bird climbing the wall. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Gotta love those birds. And then over here, you've got the... We need a shotgun. That would be so fun. That would be a neat little mini game. Um, so yeah, we're going to have the double smalls over here. And that concludes our look at all this wonderful new stuff that we have. I, I know that some people might be upset with uh, you know, me saying the things I say with the, how these buildings are not implemented properly in my opinion, but that's what I'm seeing and everything I've been able to figure out. So hopefully when the game releases, it's a little different and hopefully soon after they get them tweaked a little bit. This could be a really, really good part of Farming Simulator. Uh, well, it's definitely a good thing. Options and the, you know, ability to put things where you want is always a good thing in my opinion. So this could be a certainly a great part of the game. But right now it's a little messed up if you're picky like me and you like to have roads connecting everything. I, I don't understand why that's not in here yet. So again, hopefully that's coming. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up today. Oh, I got to take you inside the house. That's where we'll end it in our house. I haven't even tried to uh, fast forward the night yet, but I guess you can come in here and fast forward the night. Maybe you gotta sit on the couch. Then we got gold crest and uh, a couple pictures on the wall. And then yeah, surfboards. Gotta have surfboards. It's gotta be California. And you got your TV. So yeah, that's where we'll go ahead and end it right there. I uh, want to thank you so much again for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Do make sure that you uh, hit the comment uh, section down there. Leave me a comment. Uh, hit the like button as well. Make sure that you subscribe and check those notifications on. Check us out over on Twitch because we're busy, busy, busy over there. Got the link for our Discord. We'd love to have you join our community and come and get to know us. And until next time, take care.